Hello, I'm Margot from Movie Maker, and I am back with five things you missed from us this week that you definitely want to check out. First up, we have our winter cover story. It's about Driveaway Dolls, a new lesbian road trip movie by Ethan Cohen and his wife, Trisha Cook. It's very interesting, and we have so many inside scoops in here, so definitely check this story out if you are a fan of the Cohen brothers. Next, for my fans of Sundance, the festival is going on this week, and I watched this incredibly wild and honestly disturbing documentary called Eternal You. It's about AI and the virtual immortality, like digital afterlife industry, and how in the very near future, like in the next like few decades, we're going to be deciding whether we want to live on forever as an AI like simulation of us after we've died. And honestly, the scariest part is that question might not even be up to us. I interviewed the directors of this movie, Eternal You. It's crazy. It debuts tomorrow. Um, it has its premiere at Sundance on Saturday night in Park City. So if you're there, definitely check this one out. Next, we've just released our Best Places to Live and Work as a Movie Maker 2024 list. So if you want to know which cities in the U.S. and Canada are the best to live in and have a career as a movie maker, we've got all the answers and our new ranking of not only big cities but small cities is here. Also streaming on HBO is another wonderful documentary called Time Bomb Y2K, and it's all about the year 2000 problem, the big Y2K scare that happened leading up to New Year's Eve 1999, and how everybody was afraid that computers would no longer be able to interpret the date after it changed over from 1999 to 2000, and that it would cause a world economic collapse. This documentary is really interesting because it's using all archival footage. There's no new interviews. It's it's like it puts you in the perspective of someone watching the news and just experiencing the zeitgeist in 1999. Um, so if you're a fan of Y2K fashion, if you're just interested in like Y2K nostalgia, definitely check this one out. And finally, we have a list of recommendations for some incredibly riveting true crime documentaries that are on Netflix that you might not know about. Um, I made this list. I am a big fan of true crime and I watch like pretty much every true crime documentary that there is, uh, especially the ones on Netflix. So I have a lot of great recommendations if you need something to watch this weekend. That's all I have for you this week. Check back next week for five more things you may have missed and head to moviemaker.com to read all of our stories. And also, you can pick up a print copy of Movie Maker Magazine in Barnes & Noble. So that's a concept that you could consider. Anyways, see you next week.